All right. Oh, I love this problem. This is awesome. Okay, so let's see. The horizontal cable makes an angle. It's connected 4.7 meters. So this spot is 4.7 meters from the left side. We are going to pivot around that point there. So let's do that, right? Um, it makes an angle of 54 degrees. So that's what this is, right? I do believe that means what this is. Um, what is that? Is that 36? Is that right? 90 minus 54. Have I succeeded? Yes, it's 36 degrees. Boy, I'm so good at that. Okay, so that means this angle here is 36 degrees, right? Also, the force of gravity is going to act downward, right? And the angle between the force of gravity and the beam will also be 36 degrees, okay? Let's see. So we've got, what do we have? We've got this force here, the tension acting this way. Right, we've got the tension acting totally in the left hand to the left, right? We've got the force that the wall exerts in the y, in the x direction, right? I'm gonna call that w, x. We've got the force that the wall exerts in the y direction acting on it, right? We've got uh, the force of gravity on this thing. So how much, what's the mass of the beam? 5.3 kilograms, right? So we've got 5.3 G. <laughs> okay, it's not 3 G, it's not 4 G, it's 5.3 G, right? Okay, um, that's acting at, hmm, how long is it? It's two, five meters long, so it's acting at 2.5. So 5.3 G at 2.5, okay? Then we've got, uh, what do we got? We've got this guy here. We've got 4G. I knew we'd get 4G somewhere, right? Okay, 4G is acting at three meters, right? Because it says three meters here, right? Okay. Okay, so let's figure out which ones are clockwise and which are anti-clockwise. Around that point, these guys would be clockwise, just like before. So this is a positive, a clockwise torque due to the weight, a clockwise torque due to this. The tension will be anti-clockwise, right? So the real drama here is the torque expression. This thing's going to be really you know, full featured. So let's write it down here. We've got a lot of room to write it. So in the torque expression, we've got zero times the wall. Okay. Now notice that, that you know either one of these would actually exert a torque about the beam. Luckily, there we picked that spot to uh, torque about, right? Um, so that's that. Then we've got uh, the next thing that happens moving up the beam is at two and a half. So plus 2.5 times 5.3 G, right? And then that's acting at an angle of 36 degrees, right? That's 36 degrees, so times the sine of 36 plus, let's see, uh, this guy, right? So uh, uh, three meters times four G, four being the, the, the mass of this and G being 9.8, right? Okay, let's see. And then that is also the sine of 36. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Uh, then we have this anti-clockwise torque, right? Okay, so minus 4.7 times T sine. And then this angle is different, right? 54. And all of that has to add up to zero. Oh my gosh, look at this. Right now, you know, the bad news is there's a lot of stuff here we got to type in. Good news is um, it's solvable for t. So let's do that. Oh wait, let's should we set up? Let me let's set up the other equations too, just for fun. Okay, in the x direction, this is fun. I love this one. Right in the x direction, all we've got is the tension and the wall in the x direction. So we have an identity equation. Right, w x minus t. Wx is positive because it's to the right. T is negative because it's to the left. Is zero. So when we find the tension, we'll also find the force of the wall in the x direction. Notice they're the same. Um, and then uh, in the y direction, things are a little bit more exciting, but not much more. 
It's pretty simple. <coughs> I'm going to say the wall is positive. Whatever the wall is exerting is positive. I'm going to guess positive, which is, of course, correct. Um, and then I'm going to say minus 5.3 times g, minus 4 times g is 0. So basically, the force the wall is exerting is also very simple. It's the sum of the masses times g. Um, it's the entire weight of the system, right? Because the cable is not helping at all. It's not lifting up at all. Okay, so let's, these are to totally trivial in this kind of problem. This one's not so easy, right? It's a little trade-off, but it's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to bust this out, all of this, right? And then just divide by 4.7 and sine of 54. And that should give me T. All right. Ooh, I wonder how long I'm going to be able to work with bad batteries here. Okay, so 2.5 times 5.3 times 9.81 times sine of 36 plus 3 times 4 times 9.81 times sine of 36. Let's get an answer. Patumba. Okay, let's divide by 4.7. Divide by sine of 54. 38.29. Well, now if I plug that in there, let's, you know, this is kind of exciting. Wx minus 38.29, zero. Higher math tells us that the force in the wall's direction has to be 38.29 as well, right? Newtons to the right. Okay, and then the wall is, uh, what's the wall exerting? Um, ooh, this is higher math, right? Basically, it'll just be the sum of those things, right? So let's go 5.3 plus... 4 times 9.8, 91.233, so I'm going to guess that WY is 91.2, okay? And that's got to be upwards, right? And the tension, tension, you don't have to say which way it is because, of course, it, the cable pulls unless the problem is written poorly. All right. Um, do we have it all? Yeah. I think we got it. Hope that helps.